What up, y'all? It's your boy R to the A to the S. Yes, Ross here with Basima Carson Vlizzle. And today I'm here to do a review of the new Shad, aka Shad K. Teaming up with Canadian producer DJ Scratch. And I'm not going to say Scratch's last name because I know how some of y'all going to react. I'm not going to say it. But you see his name up there. That's his name. I, hey, that's, I can't, you know. That's your last name. That's your last name. You know? That's your family name. Nothing you can do about that. But that's his uh, last name. We're just going to call him Scratch on this show. All right? Him and Scratch team up for this five-song EP. All right? The Springer. Is it called Springer? I think that's what it's called. If it's not, it's said up there. I think it's Spring Up, though. But anyway, he is... Thank you what many people consider him, you know, a conscious MC. Um, some might say a, a rapper who's a Christian. Um, he certainly isn't a rapper who, you know, quote unquote, evangelize or proselytize or whatever you want to call it in his rhymes. But he definitely has, you know, biblically based rhymes if you listen closely. If not, you probably will miss it. Um, and just think of him as a constant MC. But whatever you want to call him, you know, he's a dope MC. All right? And I like Brother Shaq. Uh, we're going to go through these five songs. Only five songs, EP. You can pick it up at his band camp. Pay whatever you like. You can pay whatever you like. All right? You can pay whatever you like. All right? Whatever you want to give to the brother. Given to support this EP, him and brother Scratch. First song is called, this is classic. It's called Classic, co produced by DJ Jazzy. Psst. That's right, DJ Jazzy. Psst. All right, Jazzy Jeff. And of course, he's not just jazz off of, you know, the Fresh Prince show. He's a Grammy. That's right, the first, excuse me, the first Grammy winning producer. That's from hip hop, all right. The first one, rap producer, all right. Let's Rick Rubin one so I don't know, but he's the first, you know, a part of a group that won for best rap album, all right. So this brother is a legend, you know, even on his own solo albums as well. Um, love his spirit, you know, spiritual lyrics on here by Shad. Um, it's a fun track, man. Um, one of my favorite lines, he says, going overheads like you haven't had your baggage checked. That was one of my favorite lines on there. There's some other ones as well. Um, but yeah, some nice wordplay uh, mixed with, you know, the Christian coded rhymes. Uh, doing a break, I believe it's scratch. I don't, I don't know who's doing the scratching on here. No pun intended. But I think it's Scratch. And, you know, he samples different uh, songs, different MCs, different legendary MCs, such as Rakim, MC Light. I think Jay is sampled on here. I'm not positive. Don't quote me on that. It sounds like Freddie Fox. I'm not sure on that either. But it sounds like it with the grimy voice. But just different, you know, different rap people. Some might say legends. Are sampled on the um, on the break part. Now there is a connection. I don't see y'all connect. I don't think y'all made this connection. I think your boy Rise only one that spotted it. But think about it. You got DJ Jazzy Jeff, right? And then you got Shad. Now Shad, of course, had an album called The Old Prince, right? The Old Prince, not the Fresh Prince. The Old Prince. And then you seen the video where he dressed up like Will Smith, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. The old prince hooking up with DJ Jazzy Jeff. That's deep. You get it? See the connection there? Jazzy Jeff, the old prince. Ooh, see, only on this show you're going to get that kind of knowledge. Deep insight, brothers. That's why you got to watch the show. You got to subscribe to the show. You, you, some of y'all didn't even catch that. you like, dang, I know you say like, dang, Rob, you smart. And I am. That's the truth. That's the law. Thank you, Lord. Give me the smart to be able to connect and see that. All right? Next song, out of my head. All right, the mood changes like totally. And you know, 
on this project, he, he if you look peeked out his previous project, he goes from fun rapper to the more serious rapper. Then fun rapper, more serious rapper. So he's going to the more serious rapper. Mood change, a little bit more somber, a little bit more serious. All right, so we get a little bit more serious on this song. But even though he's more serious, it doesn't feel like you know a depressing song. It feels like. Yeah, he's going through some stuff. Yeah, he's fighting a lot of stuff. But he's optimistic. You can tell even through the, these tough times, he's optimistic. And you and you can clearly tell he's leaning more, you know, for spiritual solutions within that. So, you know, his hope lies in Christ. Even though he might not say it directly like that. All right? But it's a dope song, uh, just slow, soulful feel. I'm not sure what this song samples, the voice sample, the lead voice sample on here. And it has sort of like that live band feel to it. Um, speaking of live band feel, go to the next song, Clap Your Hands Now, Clapping, all right? This sounds like a straight up rock band, like is playing in the background while he's doing his live verse, like a... A, a real band like the you hear the bass um, the drums it just has a real dark feel it's dope um, and he just ripping it man have, with the real fun feel to it uh homie all right net song featuring Cadis weapon I'm not familiar with brother Cadis weapon but uh this is like a real old school feel and I don't always like old school feeling songs a lot of times old school feeling song it, it just feels good to me for that period, but you doing it in 2013, uh, it doesn't sound right. But this is one of the substitute rules. I like this song. Um, has sort of that 80s Rick Rubin type of vibe to it, man. Something that he might did for Run or for the Beasties. Sort of like that type of drum vibe to it. Um, and Chad has some dope lines on here. Um, Fun track, Cadence is straight. Um, some nice scratching. Just a fun track, man. And the last song is Peace. He has some nice rhyme schemes. Um, back to that live rock band feel. Um, that live feel to it. Uh, still, I'm still thinking about the message of what he's trying to say about peace. Uh, there are some things I agree with. Some things I don't know. Uh, I'm still processing do I agree with the message of the song? But, you know, overall, I do like the song. Uh, but, yeah, Scratch Production, I really like him. Like I said, he's not really stuck. Like, you know, you have some producers, like, they stuck with one drum, one set of drums. And you can, they have that signature sound, which can't be good or bad. But with Scratch, he, ha he has a, a lot of variety of sounds, instruments that he uses. I like that a lot, a, a lot about Scratch, you know what I'm saying? And look forward to hearing him on, you know, on Shad fully. And again, if you're a Shad fan, again, you have the serious side, then you have the fun MC side with the coded spiritual messages in it. So yeah, dope EP, pick it up if that if you like Shad. And that's it, man. This is your boy Roz here with a C with Carson Block and uh, Kobe Sucks. Psst. And I'm out. Psst. Chip.